And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over five of my most productive baits so far for this year. Pretty basic video, just going to show you them, talk about it a little bit. Of course, you have to have plastics to do that stuff with too. Is I'm going to cover right here. Uh, one of my most productive baits of this year has been, of course, a Strike King Red Eye Shad. Uh, this is the, I think, pretty sure it's the, uh, the Ghost Minnow Color, something like that. Uh, I fish this a lot in the spring, chucking and winding it, yo-yoing it, fishing it off the bottom, whatever. Most of the time, I do fish these on 10 or 12 pound test fluorocarbon on either a medium fast rod or a medium moderate rod. Now, another good one, the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus one. Right here, you do have the Table Rock SP color, and you also do have the, I believe it is the Sexy French Pearl SP, okay? These have been two of my most productive colors for smallmouth bass in clear water and, all, and also, excuse me, stained water. Um, you guys know that I do like to fish these baits and the regular 110 on eight pound test fluorocarbon, usually a medium fast or medium extra fast spinning rod. And if you're wondering why do I use a spinning rod for that, well, that is because of the action in the tip, okay? In that fast or that extra fast, you're gonna be able to detect that bite right away. Um, I have tried these baits on a medium moderate. I do not like it on a moderate. I do prefer it on spinning tackle. And yes, a lot of people have said, oh, well, this is, you know, $20, $25, $30, whatever. It's got to be a gimmick. No, it is not. This is a very good bait, and it does catch a ton of fish. So you do have the lipless crankbait, the Strike King Red Eye Shad. You do have the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus one. And also, how can I not forget the Rapala DT6. Now, I didn't use this color a whole lot. This is the hot mustard color. But my favorite color, uh, especially in the spring, in the DT6 was the blaze color, either blaze or delta, that crawfish imitation, okay? Now, I had a lot of fish, and a lot of big fish, especially smallies, hit that DT6, and just that, that action in that cold water really fired those fish up, so those are three of those. So anyway, like I said, I don't wanna to take too much time. Moving on, you do have a box that is essential to my fishing this year, uh, the terminal tackle and the stuff that I use for bottom baits. You'll see drop shot weights, uh, Ned rigs. And speaking of the Ned rig, uh, the Finesse TRD is my favorite Ned rig bait. It is on a 1 6th ounce Finesse Shrooms Ned rig head. Uh, again, that's just my favorite size. It's what I've liked to use. So you have the Ned rig for that, okay? And then, like for my Texas rigs, I've covered this a lot. I do use a Gamagatsu Offset Shankworm EWG 3 out Super Line Hook and a Strike King Torre Tungsten quarter ounce weight. Um, that is just my favorite way to fish a Texas rig. I do not peg it. And you will also see that I have a quarter ounce tungsten drop shot weight. But the more I go on, the more I discover that I like the 3 8 drop shot weight better. For a Texas rig, I like the quarter ounce. Like I've said many times before, that's just what I prefer. But for a drop shot, I am starting to like the 3 8 weight better. I just feel like I like it better and I have more success with that 3 8 now moving on with the plastics and in the terminal tackle, you really cannot talk about smallmouth bass without tube fishing. So my favorite color coffee tube is the natural goby, of course. That is a great bait for smallmouth bass, especially on Lake St. Clair and some lakes in the north. But you will notice that in the box on my quarter ounce, yep, quarter ounce tube jig, I do have a melon perch and I have a green pumpkin. These are also two really good colors. Now, you'll see in a couple videos coming up where I actually tried a goby and the goby was not catching anything, so I switched to a golden shiner. And I'm pretty sure we did explain the golden shiner coffee tube in the video, but if we didn't, just know that that is coming. Uh, if you want to see the tube jig that I use again, like I said, Strike King Tour Grade quarter ounce tube jig. And another thing too, just that I wanted to cover I have tried the cylinder drop shot weights for grass, and I have tried the round drop shot weights for uh, rock and sandy bottom, but I do like the teardrop style the best. I have mentioned that before. Just kind of wanted to go over that with you. Um, now another thing too, you have, you had the jerk bait, you had the lipless. Okay, you had the jerk bait, Lipless, Ned Rig, Tube, talked about the drop shot. Now, another bait that 
I'm going to be throwing more, especially if I'm flipping and pitching, for largemouth bass or just whatever. It's going to be some kind of, not this, some kind of Texas rig bait. And some of my favorites for that is the, the Rage Craw by Strike King. Uh, this is the blue bug color, yep. Again, that coffee scent, yes, fish do actually like that coffee scent a lot. Uh, some people say, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I believe it does. Another good bait that you'll see me using that actually does work really good on Lake Michigan, believe it or not, is a Zoom Baby Brush Hog. Again, just Texas rigged, tossing it around there. And then, of course, another one that I was hoping that I would catch more fish on that I have not really caught a ton of fish on yet. Well, I have caught some, but not as many as I wanted, is the Bandito Book. Now, I always get hate for this. People saying, oh, you buy their baits, whatever. Yeah, I do, and I like their baits. Look at this. Watermelon red. How can you not like that? I mean, that, that's just my opinion. I mean, I look at it like, okay, I spend money on baits from these companies, and this is another company. Whether you like them or not, da-da-da, it is what it is. A lot of fishing is personal preference that I always talk about. Now, another thing that I'm going to be throwing more of, especially soon here, is going to be a Whopper Plopper 130, a Spook Junior, which I've caught a lot of fish on both, especially largemouth bass, but I feel like smallies like the Spook better. That's my opinion. And a Frog. Uh, I do not have, I believe this is the Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher. I don't have the regular Pad Crasher right here, but that is one of my favorite frogs. And then you also do have the Mega Bass Pop Max. Okay, so just kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff that I've had a lot of a lot of luck with and whatever. So you'll have this video and then you have more fishing videos coming up. Pretty boring. Hopefully it was informational. I mean, I know a lot of you guys, you know, give me suggestions. I've tried them. Some of the suggestions have been great. And I hope maybe some of you guys can try these and have success with it. But anyway, like I said, basic video. I hope you enjoyed. That's it. Oh yeah. It was it was it was like that. It, it was like that fish earlier. He held on to it. See, the other day when I cut all those big fish, yeah, they hadn't seen it, so they were just It wasn't like it. I wish. A lot of chop, so they weren't as skittish. A lot of chop. We brought no bass, no tucker, nobody. My buddy showed up with a nice camera, and that's when I caught that 710. And so they got a good picture of it. Got him that time. Go big? Oh, yeah. Big? Big? Oh. big? Oh. I think it is. Dude, get out of here. Oh. Oh, wow. Still, I'll take it. Look at this. Look at that fat smallmouth, dude. Oh, man. Here, 